Over the weekend, Microsoft released a Surface Pro 3 docking station for $199. Is it worth it? We'll take a look. Hey everybody, Danny Rubino here, Windows Phone Central, and yes, we got the Surface Pro 3 docking station. It is probably one of the most expensive accessories you can get for your Surface, but then again, it can make your Surface a full desktop. So you can actually have a tablet, a laptop, and a desktop PC all in one, just for an extra 200 bucks. And you know, that's actually not a bad deal when you think about it. So let's take a look here at the device itself. It is made out of sort of a hard, uh, it's definitely metal, but it's sort of hollow. You can hear that, it's very light. It's kind of hard to describe the material. It feels in between a metal and plastic. Um, definitely high quality, you can see the screws there. It's very well put together. And you have some nice little uh, rubber mats there in the bottom. Of course, the big thing is on the back here, you want to know what those ports are. So let's go through them. Uh, you have your Kensington lock there. So if you want to lock it down to your desk, no big deal. You have the power adapter. Now this, of course, does come with its own power adapter, which when you factor in the $200, that's probably about 80 bucks right there. Now it's a 40 watt power adapter, which basically means it's enough to power the surface on its own as well as recharge it while you're using it. In other words, it puts out more juice than the normal charger does, and you kind of want that for your desktop. Because not only can you use it, but you can also charge up the whole battery so you can grab it to go. So definitely a cool thing right there. Over here is your mini display port. So you can throw out uh, for HDMI for a second monitor and then you got your usb so you have usb 2.0 and these are both the fast charging types so they can charge devices and power them as well you have usb 3.0 over here same thing those two are powered you got your cat 5 ethernet adapter so you can finally plug your surface directly up to your internet instead of relying on wi-fi so give you that nice solid internet connection here's your headphone jack slash audio out so you can either plug in your headphones or you have uh, external speakers you can connect that. And you probably actually will want to use that because as soon as you connect this up, it actually does automatically route the sound through that without your choice. So you do need uh, some sort of sound output. And then coming over to the side here, you have a third USB 3.0 jack. So that's one, two, three, and then you have two USB 2.0, so that's five. But then you also still have access to the one on the surface itself. So that's technically six USB ports, four of which are USB 3.0. So that is pretty cool. And going over to the front here, you can see it's very clean, just got that Surface logo. Uh, these go in and out, and that's how you lock it in. Uh, you can see they did change the design a little bit. Those used to be sort of like a metal bars on the previous one. They were silver, now it's all one color. Um, I don't know if one's better or worse than the other. I didn't own the original, but um, you know, it works very well. The sliding mechanism is solid. I like the click noise, um, doesn't feel cheap at all. And you can see there's the new power adapter slash everything port, right? So that connects up to the Surface. And and we'll display the, um, we'll send the display out to your uh, cord for external monitors, also does your sound and everything else. So put it down like this and you wanna of course plug it in. And oh, I should also point out, if you have your pen, if you're wondering what to do with that, they thought of that as well. So yes, on the side here, this is a, uh, it's all <laughs> magnetic and it's very cool as it just attaches the pen. It's very strong too, so you don't have to worry about it popping off. Now for the, External monitor, you'll want to get the HDMI adapter mini port there, so that connects up to the back of the surface, and there's your HDMI. Uh, you don't need this, of course, but if you do want to you know, connect up an external monitor, you'll probably want to pick that up. You can also get one with the classic uh, VGA output for your older monitors. This runs about $40, it's not cheap, and you know, if you do want an external monitor, you definitely have to add that into uh, the cost of everything. But like I said, for 200 bucks, you can basically make a full desktop PC out of this, which if you're running a Core i7 version, which is like what this Surface Pro 3 actually is, you know, it's a pretty good laptop. So how's it work? You just slide it in here and that's it. Clicks in and it is easy peasy. You got to really love the design of this. And now we'll fold it down you can kind of see me <laughs> standing there and we'll turn on the surface. Uh, I'm not really sure. Yeah, there we go. So I obviously I don't have this connected up to anything, but uh, as you can see, you can use a full surface there. You got your keyboard. You can use the keyboard on or off with it. Um, and then closing it will just turn off your surface too, which is pretty great. Um, I've been using it with an external monitor. 
and I've really had no issues. Uh, you can, of course, mirror the display or you can do uh, an extension of the display. So an extension will run it here as well as on the second, or you can just run this to the other display. Now this does get 4K support for output, um, but there is some variability there with the uh, 4K and 30 frames per second or you know 30 hertz basically. And so you have to be careful with that. Um, you know, if you're going to 4K, you might not get the performance you quite want out of it yet. But there you go, quick tour of the docking station for the Surface Pro 3. Like I said, it's 200 bucks, which is not cheap, but if you want to make a second PC, uh, you know, that's actually a pretty good value, especially if you have the high-end Core i7 version. It actually can make a significant, um, you know, addition to your home. And basically you can throw in two extra monitors. Don't forget this has its own um, mini display port as well. So you can actually connect up two monitors to this. And like I said, you still have the USB exposed and all your power stuff um, still available for use. So overall, great design. I'm a big fan of it. If you have any questions, let me know in comments or head to Windows Phone Central for more information. Take care, everybody.